because it's all of the beautiful gifts that the many people that have touched your lives to this particular moment that have formed you and made you the precious and beautiful gifts that you are. The gifts that you pledge to each other today. They're not ordinary gifts. They are extraordinary gifts because those gifts are in Christ. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous. It is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. There are greater days ahead of you, wonderful days. And like a good wine, it just gets better and better. But you have to stay focused. What brought you here is the love that unites you. Do not get caught up with the serious business of material life. self-giving is about. Look what generosity of love is about. Look and see what commitment is about. That's what the church wishes for you. Now in Julie, Alexander has found his perfect compliment. She's beautiful, smart, kind, lights up the room with her infectious giggle, and definitely will talk your ear off. And if Hudson's current life is any indication, your kids are gonna be spoiled. <laughs> This is a day for the entirety of the church. All of your family, your friends, and the countless members of the community of faith that make the body of Christ to rejoice. Because two of their own, two of their very special children have come to share their lives in Christ. It doesn't get better than that. Love Julie, honor her, cherish her, make her your queen, and she will make you a king. This guy is a driving, hardworking force. He's extremely loyal, will drop anything for his family and friends. I just hope that you have room for whatever he decides to build next. It is certainly a great joy to welcome you to this place of God's presence where the faith community of St. Rose Parish gathers. We come together to celebrate the mystery of God's love in the Holy Sacrament of marriage. And so this is especially a joyful day. It is a joyful day for Julie and Alex as they come and continue their life's journey, pledging their life and their love.
I, Alex, take you, Julie, to be my wife. I, Julie, take you, Alex, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. In sickness. And in health. I will love you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Julie, take this ring. Alex, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And the Holy Spirit. You just don't come here and join in a civil act. You come here and you join yourselves to each other in the gift of Jesus Christ, who loves you the very best. Stay united in the love that God has blessed you with. And the fact is, you are not alone on that altar today. Our celebration has come to its conclusion. Let us now go from this place in peace and in joy. And the people said, be Much better. We're done. Julie, you look beautiful tonight. Alex, looking dapper. And this view is just breathtaking. So you guys did a good job with that. I just want to welcome everybody and thank everybody for showing up today and attending my daughter's wedding, Julie and Alex's wedding. I know she's so happy. We are too, right? Here. I just love looking around because from the location to all the smallest details, I know that you did all this work together. You both went into today as a team. Your decisions paid off, you created your dream day. So planning your wedding, you two outdid yourselves. love each other generously, be wild and crazy in love. But most importantly, let that love not be manifested as we see in the cinema or in tawdry novels and stuff like that. Let it be real love, the love of Christ. It goes without saying, and I can confidently say, you two do make a really strong couple in each aspect of your life, which means you have so much excitement, wonder, and love to come as husband and wife. So as husband and wife, you two will outdo yourselves. And as T. Swift says, I don't want to dance if I'm not dancing with you. So here's to dancing and raising our glasses and cheers to the Mr. and Mrs.
commitment, a love, and a generosity and self-giving that will make this day as nothing compared to the days that are ahead of you as you live your sacrament. Alexander, I could not be more proud of you today. Over the course of our lives, I've been able to call you brother, roommate, and best friend. Now, it's normal for the younger brother to look up to the older brother. It's really special when that relationship switches and the older brother can say that he truly does look up to his younger brother. I'm excited to see you continue to grow and excel with Julie by your side to the happy couple. Cheers, everyone. May the joy of this day May the love you feel today be as a shadow compared to the love and the joy you are yet to experience in the holy mystery of life. Bless you.